touch of love and I told you guys I'd be back because I had some babies that I was dwelling or thinking about selling and one of them was out of my personal collection that baby was my bubbles kit by Claire Taylor and I call her baby patience so here is her COA from Claire Taylor I want to make sure you guys can see her COA but um, just want to show you so you guys can see she's still intact. Um, but um, she's out of my personal collection. I do not want to sell her, but I'm coming to you um, to bring her for sale because, not because I don't want her. I want her. I want, I want to try to paint her exactly the way I have her here. And I love the hair. I love everything about her. I just prefer a sleep baby. So if I sell her, if I'm able, I'm going to go buy the asleep kit and try to paint it exactly like her. So um, I just wanted to make sure I came so you guys can see all of her details and everything like that. I'm trying to make sure all the lights are on her and everything is where it's supposed to be. I'm trying to see how I want the lighting too. I'm trying to do all of that right now. I don't like that lighting. I like that lighting. And I want you guys to see her as best and present her to you the best way that I can. But um, if you guys have not already, subscribe to my channel. If you enjoy this video, um, please definitely click the like button. Share this video with someone you love who loves babies. And um, you can leave a comment below if you like her. If you love how she looks. I mean, I love my baby to death. Because she's mine. She's all mine. But everybody is different on what they prefer and what they like. So i um, trying to see if I can get this lighting on her just right. I'm trying my best to get as much lighting on her so you guys can see her. But after I just show you her details and everything, as you can see, you can already see the back of her feet. You guys can see that. Um, but her details are very subtle. I loved it. Um, she's a brown AA skin tone. She is painted and rooted by me. She has rooted eyelashes and painted eyebrows. Um... And I have her back to you because I want you guys to um, be able to see her hair. See what it looks like. Um, it's uh, human hair. Curly, kinky, curly human hair. Um, I love it. It's not super hard or anything like that. But I know it's different from regular mohair. And, you know, some people like only mohair. Some people like human hair. Some people like them both. To them, it just doesn't matter. They just want a beautiful baby with wonderful hair. Me, this was the vision I had for my baby, but I just want a sleeping version. So I'm going to try my best to duplicate this baby and her color and her skin tone and everything. I'm going to try my best in the sleeping version if I'm able to sell her. If not, then not. But she will come home with um, some outfits. Uh, I'll probably send her home in the blanket that I have her on. Um, I'm trying to shift everything. Hold on, guys. I want to make sure I do it all right. Oh, my light just went down. Hold on. Sorry, guys. Putting my light back up. <laughs> I'm trying to move it so I can flip her over. I need access to her. And I'm trying my best. <laughs> Without making this thing go tumble, tumble. Okay, so let me see. Okay, so you see her feet. I'm going to turn her over. You guys see her hair. Um, you see she has the darker ears around the edges. That's just the way I wanted her and she's beautifully painted. I just love her overall. And, um, again, I rooted her eyelashes and everything. So all that's done. Her hair is completely dry. It's not wet right now. Sorry for bumping the camera, but it's not wet right now. But, um, <laughs> I'm rotating it now. I said I wasn't going to touch it. But I'm touching the camera. And 
I said I wasn't, but I am. All right, but yeah, her hair is completely dry. I just wanted to let y'all know that. So when you see it, you see it's not moving. It's because it's not wet or, you know, not out of place. Everything set. I did her hair this morning. So you guys can see what it looks like when it's done. But I absolutely love her. She has some veining in her forehead. Um, she's modeled a little bit in her cheeks and things like that. But um, overall, I just love how she turned out. I love everything about her. She has pearl earrings in. I think I'm going to leave the earrings in if that's all right. Um, and if you want to change them out, you can. You can just switch them out. She weighs 6 pounds, 7 ounces. I believe she's 19 to 20 inches, if I'm not mistaken. But I'll double check um, on all the paperwork that I had for her. Or I'll go to Claire Taylor's website before I post her on Reborns.com. That is where she will be posted. She will be on Reborns.com. But um, I want to make sure you guys can see her hands. And you can see um, the nails. I don't know if you guys can see the inside parts of her hand. And it's got fuzzies on there. Um, but I want to make sure I had everything. Look, I got fuzzies everywhere. It's from the blanket. I'm like, I didn't have fuzzies on her. I wanted to make sure you guys can see her hands and see her nails and see all the details. She's painted inside her mouth as well. Um, and her lips are a little gloss, not a lot gloss, but just a little. But um, I figured um, since, and sometimes I pull her hair forward. If you go to my past videos with her, sometimes I pull her hair forward. And, and this time, the last time I did her hair, it was pulled back. And I really didn't do much to it. I just wet it a little bit. Just so you guys can see that it's in that, like, style. Um, and it holds well either way. It, it really is. Her hair is not um, short. It's long. But when I, like, use a little water and a little leave-in conditioner and I let it air dry, the curls just set beautifully. Like, beautifully. And it's easy to detangle. Some people think that that type of hair is not easy to detangle it is it's not hard at all I'm trying to see if you guys can see her feet and her head really really flops um can y'all see her feet there see if y'all can see them and see the bottom of her see all these fuzzies it's from the blanket i think i think it's from the blanket but i just wanted y'all to be able to see her feet too um see everything that's there so you guys are aware so what I'm going to do is just put her on a little uh, diaper. Then I'm going to switch over because I'm going to hold her and just talk to you guys briefly. But I want you guys to see her, see that she is the bubbles kit. She is a cuddle with hands and feet. So I just want you guys to see that. And let me see, where's the diaper? I'm going to put a diaper on her really quick here. Lately, I've been using these little rose diapers. These, I'm going to put this diaper on her real quick. But like I said, she will come home with some outfits, some onesies, because, you know, she's a cuddle baby. Um, she will come with some onesies and things like that. So that you guys can snuggle up with her, especially in these winter months. It's cool. But with cuddle babies, you can do all kind of stuff. You can put them on leggings. You can put them on T-shirts underneath the summer clothes. If you go to my previous, um, if you go to my previous, what, my previous videos with her, on my channel, you can see the different ways that I dress her and stuff like that. Um, but I hope you guys can be excited for getting her if you want her and be as creative with her as I was. Again, my feelings are going to really, really be hurt if I'm not able to paint this, to repaint um, this baby. Like I have her, my feelings are super, super duper going to be hurt. <laughs> Because I absolutely love her. I took my time with this baby. But um, I, I have joy in selling her. And I'm hoping that she will go to a wonderful home where, some, where somebody will love and take care of her as much as I love her. But I'm going to put this little t-shirt on her. And then I'll pause my video and switch over. Y'all can see her hair is super long because it's like catching in that. Do, 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 catching in the little t-shirt when I say that. I'm just so excited. I don't know what to do with myself, but yeah, they say she can suck her thumb. Let's see. Can you suck your thumb? 
I don't generally, yep, she can suck her thumb. I don't generally do all that too much, but yeah. And and she can take a full pacifier. Her mouth is was open for that. And it's deep, it's not like shallow or anything like that. So that she can't take um, a pacifier. But again, when you pick her up, you really gotta hold her head um, because she's really, really floppy. I reweighted her made sure that she had a nice little um, scented wafer in there and everything or a new one because she had one in there but I wanted to make sure that she was in good shape for you all whoever's going to buy this wonderful baby but I think like in certain things with her size and stuff I honestly think she can wear like mm, I think she can wear like a, a a zero to three month. She definitely can fit newborn too. Um, newborn will fit snug on her, um, but she definitely can fit newborn perfectly. A zero to three month. I wouldn't go any smaller than that, but it, hey, if you want to try, especially if it's an older outfit and it's kind of big, it might fit her. You never know. See, because this is a newborn t-shirt and it's fitting her snug in the arms. Y'all see that? But again, I restuffed her. It could be that. She's like really stuffed good. I don't know, but I don't feel like it was. But let's see. It could just be the, the little t-shirt. I'm going to rotate this a little. Let's see. Nope. It's under there where it's supposed to be. <clears throat> it's perfect. And I'm going to put her on. Can you guys see her? I'm going to put her on a... Uh, I'm going to put her on. Let me see. A onesie and I'm hoping the onesie fits but if not I have a spare onesie here that I'm going to uh, put her in when I switch the camera over so that I'm holding her and can give you guys a better view of how she looks she looks cute in that though it fits good there we go yeah it fits good let me see here let me get up here and see how she looks in the camera yeah, and her legs, everything moves well. Like, you can move her legs. You can move her arms. Her arms bend. And all. Like, they stay straight. They bend. They do all of that. And they hold in place. Yeah, I love it. I love it. <laughs> I'm going to switch my camera. Ooh, I'm 12 minutes in already. But I just wanted you guys to be able to see her. Okay, so I'm going to pause and then switch over. Hey guys, so I wanted to just hold her so y'all can see her in my arms and see me. I got a lot of fuzzies. If you see anything flaring around, I have been messing with polyfill. So um, that's where you'll see it. But you can see her feet and, and all her hands. I'm going to rotate her so y'all can see her. Oh, and you can see her eyes real good in there. Yeah, and I made sure I touched up her lashes. They look absolutely beautiful. Yes, and again, she can take a full pacifier. And her arms flex. They move. They do all of that. She's very flexible. But you got to really make sure, because I made sure when I reattached everything, that I wanted to make sure she was floppy, because some people love their babies to be, like, floppy. So make sure you support her when you have her and um, I got her on her little blanket but I want to just get her dressed that's all and um just to reiterate that I will send her home with a couple of outfits um a couple of onesies I'll find her some stuff because it's winter time I'll either go in my closet but I'm more than likely I'll go find her some things because it's just fun to do and um I hope she finds her mom soon very soon but she turns her head i, I want to make sure y'all saw that too her head turns very very easily um so you gotta be careful with that too but yeah i love it so here's what i want to try to put her in because i thought it would look cute right i want to try to put her in this outfit right here doesn't that look cute on her color her skin tone there we go i'm so excited i'm, I'm sad to see her go um, but I keep and I keep looking at her weird because I want to make sure 
I get a mental note of how I want my baby to be. You know, I worked hard on this baby. And you know what? Eyebrows are not my strong suit. But her eyebrows, I thought, for her and, and this was really pretty the way I did them. Man, I'm hoping I can pull it off again. I'm hoping, hoping, hoping that I can pull this off, y'all. <laughs> if I can't, my feelings be hurt. But whoever does get her, at least they'll be happy. They got a, a beautiful baby out of it and everything. So that's exciting. But I'm just putting these little pink socks over her feet. Um, and then I'll put her in this outfit so we can see how she looks in this onesie. Yeah, but I can't wait to see who's going to be the new mommy. And you know what I was thinking? Because I had already um, someone who was asking about her when I did my video a couple days ago. But I said to give me a day or two, you know, so that I can get time to upload my videos because that takes time. Uh, I had to do detailed videos for her and baby Samuel. Um, but it takes forever to upload them when you want to, like, include your intro and stuff like that. So that it, it just took time and then having the time I could have done it last night and then you know you really want to touch your baby up you want to make sure everything is good you know I just I'm being super particular so I mean that's that's all but then I was thinking about it because when I told the person the price that I was going to be posting her for and if you want to know her price you can go look on reborns.com I just not something I like to put on my videos it's just my preference but um I just want to just have people to think you know okay so this bubbles kit costs what I want to say and, you know, I don't like breaking things down, but I, I honestly, I don't mind either because it sometimes you just have to, for people, sometimes you got to make it make sense. So this doll costs about, um, I'm going to say about six, I'm going to say 577, but you got to ship it and all that too. You got to pay for that, right? But okay, so I round up, I'm a rounder. So $600. And then say you had this baby and it was bald, but you wanted hair. And to go pay for a router, and you can do your research and go see. But most people that I've seen in the range, and that could have gone up because prices for everything has gone up. But for like, um, for a, I'm just trying to pull her onesie under here, guys. So for, and again, I might not be able to get her in this. I'm hoping. I really think it's cute, but I might not be able to. <laughs> but for a, um, for a router. If you send it out and you got to ship that baby to them and then you got to get it shipped back and I'm sure they're going to make you pay for that too. But the range I've seen is three between 300 or 350 to, um, I'm going to say what, 400, $400. So if that doll is 600, the kit, and then 400, where are you at? You're at about a thousand, right? So then this doll hadn't even been painted yet, right? So you got to paint it. And then this kit is not a Reggie Ann body. So then you got to fill it. You got to, you know, weight it with you. So it means you have to buy your material and weight it. And then you got to find outfits to send it in and have a nice little box opening. It doesn't have to be extravagant, but a nice little box opening. So, I mean, you go ahead and calculate that since I just gave you those numbers. But that it sometimes when you do things like that just makes things make sense for some people especially those who are not out there and they don't know how much the kit costs but i mean honestly that really shouldn't matter because the person or the artist still has to paint the baby that baby still needs to be painted and when you start going into the different um different skin tones especially a darker skin tone when you start going darker that means that's more paint more layers more time so you pay for the artist's time as well right okay so i'm not gonna pull that do i have any scissors i do right here so you pay for the artist's time and i'm just cutting the little string off the onesie I don't want to tear it. I think it's a really cute outfit and I don't want to tear it. So you pay for all of that. So I like to throw that out there. Just when people start seeing prices, they're like, 
oh that's too much and rightfully so it can this this dog community the hobby it's not cheap it, it really isn't and <laughs> i always tell people this this hobby right here is not for the meek uh, you know the, uh, the the gullible or nothing like that you got to do your research you have to ask questions and now with um the scammers and things that are out there you have to know who you're dealing with so that's vital as well but um i'm just trying to see if she's gonna fit this outfit then i'll get off with you but um i just want to throw that out there so when you see a reasonable price for something just think about it like that because this baby's silicone is she's not vinyl um she's not it's not a hundred one hundred dollar kit it's not and even so with the vinyl that's a hundred or a hundred and something or two hundred dollars that person has to paint those babies and and that stuff takes time and then you got to root it then you have to wait it then you got to go get a nice little box opening and you have to you have to profit off of it you can't just get the money back for your supply for your you know for your kit and then go get another kit and paint again because if you're not profiting that doesn't make sense that's that just that's not a business mindset for me unless you're just in it for um a no profit organization or something like that then that's different right but um she fit it it's a little snug let me pick her up let me see guys y'all she looks cute in this i love this for her let me see i'm checking it out guys she looks so cute in this i might ship her in this i love it do y'all like it i love it oh i do i love it i love it yes and then i can and this is a little thing so you can fold it over to protect her arms and stuff like that i don't know i may go find her but i think because she's a cuddle you don't want it to be too loose but because you want it to hold them in place a little bit too so they can be really cuddly but i think i think this is beautiful on her me personally i don't know i think it fits her to perfection but like i said she can swing she can really swing like a zero to three month outfit. I mean, just I'm just throwing that out there. But I think she looks absolutely beautiful. But um, I just wanted to throw that out because it was on my mind. Thank you so much for viewing my channel. I will post her once I get a couple of pictures. Um, I'll try to post her on Reborns.com. That takes time too because you have to have everything entered in like to perfection or it won't let you like save it and post it at reborns.com so i gotta make sure i do all of that but guys give me a little time and i'll leave you shortly i hope you enjoyed this video definitely click the like button um subscribe if you enjoy my channel and you enjoy what i put out watch me on my journey as i paint and have fun i hope i can sell her and get the sleeper because i'm just gonna take it as a challenge to try to paint that baby like i got this one if i can't my feelings gonna be hurt but <laughs> I'm surely, surely, surely going to try. But you guys take care. Be blessed and be safe out there. And you guys enjoy the rest of your week. And good luck on trying to get her. I hope somebody buys her quickly. Yay. Bye-bye <laughs> now. <laughs>